Hello everyone, I'm back with another teardown. Today we have here the Ultimate Airs Wonder Boom 2. This is a $100 Bluetooth speaker that will provide you up to 13 hours of 360 degree sound. It has an IP67 rating and has true wireless stereo sound as well as an outdoor mode to boost up the sound. Now join me as we dive into what's inside the Wonder Boom 2. Taking apart the Wonder Boom is quite easy compared to other Bluetooth speakers that I've opened. First thing we're going to do is pry it open the top portion of the speaker, which is held on by a few tabs. Once removed, the whole grill cover will just slide right off. The Wonder Boom 2 has premium fabric and is available in two tones, which make the speaker much more appealing. A quick glance at the Wonder Boom 2, you will see that it has dual drivers and passive radiators. This helps give the speaker a 360 all around sound with a maximum sound level of 86 dBc in standard mode and 87 dBc in outdoor boost mode. Next step we will remove the driver by removing 4 screws. Once removed we will pry out the driver which is double sided tape onto the enclosure. We will do the same for the second driver. The way the driver cables are attached to the motherboard, it makes it hard to pull it out. So I will go ahead and quickly desolder the drivers in order to remove them. And here we have the two driver. They measure 40mm each and provide the speaker with a surprisingly loud sound that is crisp and full of bass. The two passive radiator on the other hand measure 46mm by 65mm and they do a great job at producing all this low end to give you those punchy bass sounds. Next we're going to remove the bottom portion of the speaker by removing these four screws. Once removed, the bottom half should just pop open. From here, you can pull out the battery and charging board cable. Now to remove the battery, we will have to carefully pry the battery out as it's double sided tape onto the speaker. And here we have the battery. This is a 3.8 volt 2100 mAh battery pack that takes up to 2.6 hours to fully charge and provide the speaker with a total play time of up to 13 hours. I managed to get a good 12 hour use from a single charge with the volume set around 70 to 80%. Next we will remove the charging board by removing this plastic cover that is holding it down. And here we have the bottom half of the speaker. It has a cutout for the outdoor button and micro USB port and it has an attached seal for the charging board. And here we have the charging board. It contains a button for the outdoor mode and of course the micro USB charging port. Now to remove the motherboard, we will need to remove 4 screws. Once 
Once removed, we can pull the motherboard out, and while doing so, we will also need to make sure to disconnect the volume control cable from the motherboard. And here we have the Warnerboom 2 motherboard. This board features true wireless pairing and has a Bluetooth range of up to 100 feet or 30 meters. It also features the outdoor mode, which when activated allows the speaker to bump the sound up to 87 decibels. And to remove the volume control board, I'm just going to use a plier to pull it out. Here we have the volume control board with the volume up and down button. And here we have the empty enclosure of the Wonder Boom 2. It contains a two passive radiator along the bottom sill to help it maintain the IP67 rating that it has. And if you look at the way the enclosure is designed, it probably also benefit the speaker when Ultimate Air claims that the speaker is drop proof, having drop tested it from the height of 5 feet. Well that's the complete teardown of the Warner Boom 2. Like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. There will be more teardowns to come. I'll see you in the next one.